Hey, welcome to Small Mouth Crush. Today we got Jimmy back in studio, and we're talking about tubes. Tubes! Anything tubes. I got a lot of tubes. I love fishing yeah. tubes. If you love fishing tubes, if you want to learn how to fish tubes, this is the video for you. Yes, sir. I like that word. I know. Tubes. All right, so let's start with the go-to tube box. As it's go stated, to tubes. Go to tubes. I like that. What the f happened? We just gotta start over. All right. Is it on? Is it yeah, going? It's good. Okay. All right, hold on. Do you have any without any salt on them? Huh? You have any without salt on them? Right, here we go. Let's, the deal. Talk, tubes. let's so, talk about tubes. Let's get into it. I'm a tube fanatic, would you say? Yes. He carried up the box. Yes. I pulled a muscle. It was pretty heavy. Yeah. So these are the standard boxes that go in my My boat. lower lumbar will never be the same. No, no. No. And I fish tubes under a lot of different conditions. Uh, do you want to talk about your I had to get, I had to get that in I there, mean, man. You guys need so to get... I'm sorry. Tea. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm going organic, man. I'm going organic, baby. Okay. Yep. Anyways... So there's a lot that goes Honesty into tubes. Honesty and tubes. There's a lot that goes into tubes. Yep. Uh, I take it very seriously. You're pretty fanatical about tubes. I am. Dude. I'm I not. I fish them year round. I'm going to learn. I fish them in the spring. I fish them in the summer. So let's get into... Tubes. The tube heads. The tube heads. The tube heads. All right, so let's get into the tube heads. I like a round ball jig head. I'm going to go through all that with oh, you. Oh, jeez. Okay. So let's open up the tube box. Tube boxes, here we go. Yeah. We got to start somewhere. Got here. This one oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> There's secret. Is that oh, no. secret stuff? This is like a mini tube box, right? This is where I have all my standard tube heads of extra tubes and some different sizes, certain situations. So, Are these the ones that don't rust? I don't know, man. Do you ever see those boxes they make? I guess. They, they, don't, they, they don't rust. I just the, try not to get things wet. They don't rust. All. That's how I don't <laughs> what? get my tubes rusty. Rusty hooks are no good. At least good. you can get them out easy. Right. You know? What if you're in a tournament, you're like, yeah, throw one of these. <laughs> How does that right, even work, back, dude? Come back. You need a better organizational box. I think it's fine. Box. Like your standard deals here? That's like a standard. You could actually buy this. Yeah, you could buy that, right, factory? No, that's a barbarian hook. So I have certain two heads barbarian. that have. Yeah, it's a barbarian you're a, style you're a barbarian. hooks. These are actually... Um, I Speaking of barbarians, are, why don't we take our shirts off and show everybody what a barbarian looks these like? These are bro. Mustang, uh, Mustad, Mustang. Mustang. These are Mustad hooks. Must. I think I think they're like a steelhead hook. Either really? size one, one odd, two odd, something like that. I'm sorry, guys. I I just call up my buddy and say, hey, I need some more. Send me some of those barbarians. They have 300 go. of those <laughs> go up. Did you ever see that movie? No. You never seen that? Whew. Uh -uh. You get three barbarians in this complex. <laughs> Heads are gonna roll. Right. So I really like the barbarian hooks when. <laughs> it's just, it's funny when you say that. I right. can't help it. I, I like the barbarian when I'm throwing the larger tubes, the three and a half, okay. things like that. Okay. Yep. Two and a half inch. Mm -hmm. Two and three quarters. However you want to look at it. Yeah. I don't want to look at it. No. No. Uh, we have the slender tube. Right. And then we have the standard three and a half inch tube. And uh, you got some tubes in your nostrils. I, I love tubes. What you're trying to get at. Now that we've cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so. Way too much info on tubes. There's just too much. I can't sit through it. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. You, you probably need a break right around now, right about now. <laughs> I'm supposed to say what? Oh. All right. So, so I, could, a, I could use a cigarette. So there's a lot that goes into tubes. Or a cigar. And we're just going to scribe some. I'm running, out of, I'm running out of gas. I'm going to show them how to rig this tube. Okay, go ahead. How's that sound? Let's do that. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to get all these little legs spread apart here. Right? Gives mm -hmm. you a nice entry, entry area. Spread them apart there. So I like to take this lead head, insert it. Is that the right word? Insert? 
and say, boy, you need to lube these up, dude. They're rough well, that's going, something rough I do going like in. Here's huh? how you put it in. Huh? And you need some help. That's pretty much how I like to fish it right there. Let me show that to the camera. Sure. That's pretty much how I like to fish it when I can't get the tube head all the way there in, bro. Is, so here's what I do, right? Yeah, you lick it? I knew you were going to do that. A little lead poisoning. You yeah, got to be uh, kidding me, bro. Push it up. That is crazy. There you go. I would much rather soak mine in uh, Gojo juice or something instead. It's right. fairly easy. You get it's bait. a quick lick, one lick. It's like a suck. And then. Just pop it Who in. taught you that, dude? I've been doing it for years. I believe it. You know? <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. There you go. With a haircut like that. There you go. I'm still trying to get mine in there. I mean, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't work real well. Again, I fish it that way because of the fall rate. Right. Imagine. That might work, Travis. It might. I don't know. What mm -hmm. do you think? How much? My, I just might have got onto something, man. Maybe if you're in Japan. Yeah. I still got salt in my nose. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, so this is the go-to box. This is typically what I'm going to bring. Drag a tube on Lake Erie. That's probably going to get a big bite. Or St. Clair. Or the Detroit River. So I always cut a V in there so my hook comes up. I cut a little. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, here's what I do. I bring it and I expose it just like so. Oh. See that? Yeah. You learn something new every day. I used to snip this. Yeah. Um. We could go into this forever here. Yeah, there's a lot of tubes here. Let's show each individual tube in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big tube fisherman. You know what? Maybe this is, say that there was line right here. Yeah. And this tube was all shredded up. Watch the pictures, bro. I didn't touch them, man. I did. Oh. Ah. Okay, so let's say that the tube had line going through mm -hmm. here and it was all shredded up. Right. It was beat up like this, right? Right. It's no good. Right. So how would you put a new tube on? Let me tell you the answer. <laughs> So, I don't know. You don't know. I think I've done this before, though. So you rip not the tube, knowing it. You yes. rip the tube off. It's still attached to the line, right? Right. You grab a tube. Grab me a tube, please. I don't see any. <laughs> Popular color. Okay, white. So it's attached to the line, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert it right here. Okay? Oh, yeah, I've done that before. All right, well... I've done that before. Not a lot of people have. Yeah, I'm done. That's, I get it. It's just an easier way. Yeah. Takes. Yeah. So quick and easy it is. Well, I Perfect. mean, you gotta lubricate it a little bit, and I did not do that here. Got it. I've done that before. Yeah. There yeah you go. I've done that before. All right. I thought I was I mean, gonna learn something from you today, so but that, I, I guess not. Whatever. So really, I gotta, I gotta sit down, and this is a project. Yeah, this one's costing to look like a perch. Let me see that. It looks like a bluegill or a baby bass. That's baby perch. bass. It's that, a perch. It's a baby perch bass. Color tube. This is a perch colored tube. No, that's a uh, orange belly. Rusty crawfish. <laughs> you I, know a rusty crawfish. I ate there. Is? I ate there one time. It's a it's a it's a restaurant in the Potomac. I think. Is it? The rusty crawfish. There you go. Got food poisoning. So I don't throw these a lot. That was horrible, dude. I don't throw these. You ever a have lot. food poisoning? No. <laughs> I don't throw these too much. You don't want it. I stand standard. So, why don't you break open the big box, see what we got? Yeah, let's just throw, we got a couple extras here. I love here. tubes. We got a couple extras. Bulk packs. What else we got? Throw oh, them up here, man. man. Let's go. We got a lot of shit, man. Hold on. We got a lot of tons of shit. The tubes. We got Green tons of top shit top. up here. <laughs> don't break the table. I won't. All right, let's go through them. That would take a week, bro. So, there we are. Get bit baits. That would take a long time. What are these? Okay, so... Uh, Three-inch melon grabbers. These are the magnum tubes. Let me show you those. Uh, are they for flipping, right? No, no. You don't this is all... I do flip. I do flip a tube. I'm talking more for smallmouth. Oh. So let me show you this. This is the magnum tube. My God, she's a beauty. Isn't it? Yeah. 
Isn't that what, what he caught one uh, big tournament all one time, Ish Monroe? He, I think he won that. That was the Lake Amistad. He was flipping like a seven-inch tube. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. A little bit bigger than that. Was it really? No, I'm, it was bigger than this Magnum tube. Oh, I thought you it was bigger than seven inches. I, it looked like it was about that freaking long, dude. What are you talking about? The tube he was throwing in Texas. Oh, okay. So, let's say I wanted to... All right, so we're going to do a tube video at another time. You got any questions real quick on tubes or anything you want to know? No, quick, I want to know where is your buzz bait box. That's what I want to know. All right, that's coming up. Until next time. See you on the water. Good enough. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, you're going to continue with this tube thing? Are you I'm not going to continue with the tube thing. I realize that there's way too much to discuss about the tube. Jimmy doesn't have the patience for it. No. I need to put in a lot more time. I want to teach you guys how to drop shot a tube, how to drag a tube, how to do this to a tube. I'm going to do teach that. you how to put what, tubes back in a bag. What type of heads to use for the tube, what type of situation, what type of rod, what type of line. There's just way too much technical stuff that you're not prepared to do. You do have a lot of tubes, dude. Okay, Seriously. I, I love tubes. So Man. I'm going to make a video all on tube fishing, the technical stuff, and get into it. Fair? Yep. Any other questions? Nope. I'm out.